Yeah, things like AI relighting too are one of those things I mentioned earlier that I think are going to democratize filmmaking and make it so much more accessible to people. Like, I think lighting, like when I first started getting into like shooting with a camera and like, you know, doing music videos and like basic stuff, and it's like, that's one of those first things you learn in terms of how do you up your quality? It's like, it's lighting. Oh, yeah. Lighting is one of the biggest differentiators between like an amateur project and a professional level project mm -hmm. is like, is it just lit well? Yeah. And now being able to like really successfully relight scenes, you can up the quality significantly on a project. And like, I know I've even seen some people experimenting on like, can I, as a professional, take a student project and use AI relighting and then recolor it how I would as a professional to up the oh. quality? And it's like, it suddenly looks way better than a student project. And it's like, well, that's because the inherent issue with student projects is most of the time it's like one person executing on the vision or one or two people. But most things within filmmaking require a specialized skill set for each part of it. It's like very yeah. rare that you're going to have a guy that can di write, direct, produce, edit, do the VFX, light, color. Right. Yeah. You're not, it's really, you know, chances are you're not finding that guy. No.